Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about uh, Putin and reports and measuring things and what Putin can learn from American fast food restaurants. Um, there have been a number of articles that have come out recently, and they're focused on how Putin is ending up with bad information. And he's basing, using these reports to make decisions, and it actually just makes things worse. And because he trusts the reports, he's viewing everything from outside of Russia as just, well, that's just propaganda. And it doesn't factor in to his decision making. And a lot of the articles are chalking this up to, well, this is just one of those things that happens in authoritarian countries. I mean, okay, I don't know that that's entirely accurate, though. It seems more like a symptom of focusing on measurements, metrics, rather than the, the reason those metrics were created. When I was a kid, 15, 16, something like that, I worked at a fast food joint. And during the period that I was there, they installed a clock. They installed a clock, and the clock basically measured how long a car sat at the window. And the higher-ups, the corporate, you know, overlords, they were really interested in this number. So much so that even today, I can remember how just adamant the managers were about the amount of time a car spent at the window. Why was this measurement being kept to speed things up, to make sure that the customer got their food as quickly as possible. That's why the measurement exists. But they put so much pressure on that number, what happened? You know, ma'am, uh, your, your fries are going to take a little bit to cook. Can you do me a favor and just pull up right up there? And uh, we've, we've got to keep the, the lane clear. We'll have somebody run your food right out to you. What did that do? It actually made the person wait longer for their food. They were so focused on that metric, on that number, on that report, that it caused people to, well, kind of cook the books on it. They moved the car ahead, and then somebody had to run the food out to them, which made the customer wait longer. To this day, <laughs> you will see this. In fact, you, you will even see locations that have like parking spaces for people to be pulled up to. Um, which doesn't actually speed things along for, for the customer in most cases. Because what happens is somebody then has to run the food way out to the parking space, which means they're not back there bagging up the next order, and it slows things down. Or the company ends up hiring another person, increasing the labor cost. It, it just, and it all stemmed back to a focus on how long a car sat at the window. But the people further up the chain, they're just looking at that report. And they're not really factoring in the reason the number is supposed to be 45 seconds or whatever it was. Um, and then they institutionalized getting around it. When if they had focused on the goal, which is getting the customer the food faster, what would they have done? They would have put a door at the drive through So people could walk out the door, employees could walk out the door and hand it to a customer that is one car back or two cars back. So their food goes as quickly as possible. They pull out of line and go. And the person up front gets theirs as, as quickly as possible. But rather than thinking of the goal, they were focused on the numbers on the report. It happens everywhere. It's an institutional memory thing. Uh, but that is definitely something that happened in Russia with their military. They became so focused on meeting arbitrary numbers that they just started putting it in the report. 
you know, how many of, I'm making these up, but, you know, how many of your troops qualified and can hit the 10 ring, you know, four out of five times? 95%. They may not have even gone to the range, but they put that in there. And then it went up. And the next commander up may have bumped it up and said 96%. By the time Putin gets it, everything looks perfect. The Russian military looks like a well-oiled machine, when in reality, a lot of their machines hadn't been oiled in 10 years. It's not a symptom of an authoritarian state. It's a symptom of bad leadership. It's a symptom of focusing on arbitrary metrics rather than the end goal. And I think uh, it, it's important to remember that because if it becomes institutionalized thought that this is only something that occurs in you know, countries like Russia, those other countries, the United States could end up falling prey to it when it happens all the time in the U.S., Focus on uh, a, a good example here. Focus on uh, street price. It, it that's not a good metric <laughs> um, because that doesn't necessarily relate to enforcement. It, it, it the U.S. does it too, and they base policy decisions on it. When you're looking at reports, always remember why that report was generated and what the goal was because a lot of times it uh, its meaning gets lost when you pay too much attention to the numbers on the paper rather than what those numbers are supposed to reflect and this is important in a lot of different endeavors anyway it's just a thought y'all have a good day